And what's your advice for sort of like, you know, kids that are coming up? Well, not just kids, but, you know, older guys. Like, I was older when I got into it. Well, 17 years old. <laughs> so he's I'm, not yeah, old, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, kids, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, kids and sort of like, you know, the, old, the older guys that maybe sort of like stood in their 30s, 40s, or even 50s and 60s, and if they want to really get out there and start gigging, what would you... Do you know, do you know what? Do you Give know, some advice. Here. Uh, the, the biggest problem is confidence and willing to put themselves in harm's way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You've got to say, yeah. yes, and you can take it. Um, yeah. Let me, um, Maurice Whittlebait, do you know who that is? No. Michael Caine. Oh, right, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah Michael yeah, Caine, yeah. the actor. Um, if you get his biography, he says something really cool on it. Have we got time for this? Yeah, yeah go, no, absolutely, it, go it, for Michael it. Caine's autobiography, he, he talks about a, a really cool thing, which is, which is great. He talks about, um, because Michael was really late, he didn't do Zulu until he was 33, 34. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he was proper Elephant and Castle London. His mum lived in a prefab post-war house. Really? They were broke. Yeah, proper, yeah. proper working yeah. class. Very poor family, yeah, not, yeah. not even working class, you know. Um, and then he made a break. Now, later in his years, I mean, he's in his 80s now. Yeah. Towards the end of his 70s, he got a script come through from Christopher Nolan. Wow. And it was the Batman script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Right. Yeah, now, yeah. In, if, you, if you read Michael's autobiography, he says he got it, he read the script, and then he phoned Christopher back. Amazing. And he, and he goes, Chris. Okay. I imagine saying, <laughs> Chris. No, Chris. Like, oh, I can't do it, Mark. You didn't know. No, right. okay. <laughs> so he, does, he phoned Chris and he said, Chris, I'm, thank you so much for the offer, but I think I'm too old to play the part of Batman. <laughs> so then Chris said, oh no, Michael, I'm so sorry. You've misinterpreted. <laughs> yeah. I want you to play the part of Alfred, which is the stepfather, the father figure. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Michael Caine says for the very first time in his life, he went upstairs and looked in the mirror. And the person looking back at him was no longer a leading man. Right, yeah. It was the leading man's father. And since then, he's done... You know, uh, Inception, all the Batman stuff. His, his yeah, career has yeah, been better yeah. than it's ever been. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because yeah. Because he's been cast as the leading man's father. Yeah. So the moral of the story is: is you're never too old. When you said about advice to people older. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Neil Diamond's not going to book a 15 year old to play bass. Absolutely. The same yeah, way as a 15 year old yeah. band isn't going to book a 47 year old bloke that's gone a bit bald. Sorry. Oh, no, but you know, it's, it's good to go. so so you you've it's. It, you, you're never too old, and sometimes you're too young for the right gig. Absolutely, yeah, so yeah, of course. So don't yeah. have your enthusiasm spoiled just because you go, look, okay, look, I'm, I'm trying to play a bit of bass. I'm a beginner. Yeah. I'm in my late 50s. You know, I've gone grey. I've got a bit of a paunch. I don't think I'm good for this anymore. Yeah, no, yeah. No, man, because there might be a blues band that are all similar, you know, no, yeah, no, no exactly. tooth in their head and they want to go and do a couple of gigs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's always a gig for everyone. Sometimes you're not too old, sometimes you're not too yeah. young. And you, you said know. about people being scared about putting themselves in harm's way. Yeah. Well. I really think that's, yeah. Yeah, I saw a, a great little thing, I think on social media recently, it was a pie chart, The, the Musician. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. tell them I've seen it. But 78% yeah, tell them, yeah. Self crippling, crippling yeah. self doubt. Was that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, crippling. Two percent worrying about young virtuosos. Yeah, then, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you just got to go for it. You've got to go yeah. for it. Um, so yeah, advice is for anything. Hundred percent enthusiastic. Don't be scared. Everyone makes mistakes. Let's go for it. You learn from mistakes. Yeah, yeah. The best way to learn is play the wrong note. You know, not to play it again. <laughs> you know, and read. Read from the first time you pick up your bass. Yeah. Doesn't matter what instrument. If you can read, you can play anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the key thing. You want to play punk? I play punk. I get a pick and I can read it. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. It's, it's fine. You just you might have to work on the vibe a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. But, but yeah, just make sure you can read and, and be enthusiastic. Epic, be open. Man. Before, yeah. we, before we finish this up, 